to my channel. Hey yo, hey yo, listen up, listen up, yeah. Hey yo, hey yo, hey yo. The wireless woman. You in charge of the girls, right? I am in charge of the girls. Are you in charge of the girls? I am in charge of the girls. Okay. All right. Hey, yo, hey, yo, hey, yo, Wi-Fi is welcome back to yet another underground, under renovation transmission of the wireless woman. Go ahead and do me a favor on your way in and like this video. Why? Because when you like it, well, I love it. And if you haven't already, for whatever insane reason, go ahead and make sure you subscribe to this channel. And click the bell for notifications of when I go live and when I upload new content. Listen, I really want to be consistent for y'all this summer. I really do. But I also want to be you could be my you could be my freak i i plan <laughs> while i'm out of work for these next couple of weeks to load you up but i also want to make sure that my content is relevant so i'm gonna do my best i have had lots of small business clients that have been coming in to see me in my practice and one of the things that I've been suggesting during this time, because I'm seeing a lot of uh, ADHD, you know, people really have that. That's a real thing. So I don't want to minimize that, but I've seen a lot of attention deficit with business owners. So I tell them to journal, create a business journal, because there are certain things, because you're human, you're a human running a business. Um, and even though your business is a machine, you are not. And there are certain things that you may not pay attention to as a business owner about yourself. And journaling helps you to kind of know, when did I have legs? You know, it also is a record of times that you came through struggles. It can be a great motivating force to look back on challenges that you've overcome so that you can stay encouraged in seasons where businesses do what they inevitably do which is evolve you know um i see a lot of small business owners that are stuck in the trap and i tell them that i say you're a wonderful employee of your business but you're a terrible owner <laughs> you don't give your employee time off you don't budget in for your employee to get sick and so small business owners have to be so much more in tune with their purpose, their heart, their reasons for starting the business and coming to work every day. I mean, when you're an employee, you just, you just show up, <laughs> you know, if the business makes a profit, if it doesn't, oh, well, you know, if the business owners actualize their dreams, hopes and goals, you know, it's a means to an end. But when you are the owner, ooh, baby. So for me, as a person who has journaled and who knows myself, the summertime is either going to jump off and go hard or, yeah, or it's going to be a time where I really struggle <laughs> to lock in and to stay motivated. But that is the message. You know, that is the message to know thyself through these experiences that we're having, through the way that we engage with our business, our family, you know, with our own self-development, our own growth. That's going to be to the extent that we find success. You know, success is like happiness. It's inside work. And people who have gotten to these great levels of success, I was talking to a client who has land holdings, property holdings, stocks, investment. I mean, so much money. Okay. And we had a heart to heart. We had that conversation. I said to him, I said, listen, it was probably easier to make your first million than it has been worrying about how you're going to keep your money. And he said, yeah, he was like, these are problems that when I was making my money, I never thought <laughs> I would have. But success can create insecurity in you if you have the wrong motivation for why you're coming 
to the situation. This is true in every facet of your life. Relationships <laughs> that are founded on poor reasons, uh, anything that requires you to give yourself 100% to it needs to have 100% of you in it. So message of the day is to journal, is to keep a record, not just of what you're doing, but of how what you're doing affects you, who you're becoming through what you do. And I promise when you write through those pages, you will see purpose. You know, your purpose will begin to emerge from the things that you prioritize, the things that you begin to tell yourself are important. You know what else will emerge? Your flaws, your growth opportunities. And this is the reason why so many people don't do it. And you can go on your social media posts (laughs) and see all the shit you was going through. (laughs) in chronological order but journaling to me is something that's private it's private work and no one gets to weigh in on it you really get to be more vulnerable more transparent with yourself if that's something that you desire to do and those themes of who you are start to come out and they start to come up and it gives you something to work with. You know, I think we are overstimulated with public feedback on who we should be and how we should be doing things. And a lot of people feel that the best way to progress is to move forward. But I do feel even as a people, as a full community on a sociological level, That forgetting where you come from is a recipe for disaster. It's a recipe to be in a cycle repeating loops um, that really won't let you out, that won't let you progress. So my business tip for the day, uh, my personal tip for the day is journal. Journaling is a lost art form, much like writing letters. During my wireless journey, I would write people letters. And you would be surprised at the types of things that are important to you when you can't just text it. Like I would be writing letters that people wouldn't get until like a week or two or three after a certain event happened. And so it was interesting to keep up with people through letters as opposed to text messages where you're not getting that raw emotion in real time. I got to see their process you know, in writing a letter. Cause most of the time, by the time you actually get the letter written out, you've worked through a couple of things and the letters are just so much more edifying because they have resolution in them. You know, they're not just a trauma dump. So it's something to think about. I would love to hear your thoughts on it. Do you have a journal? I had, um, India. I had India on here um, a few months back and she talked about a food journal. Baby, I don't want that level of accountability, but I need it. (laughs) So this works in any facet of your life. I'd love to hear from you if you have any journals, how it's been impacting you. If you see what I see and you feel, baby, as I feel. But if you see what I see, if you feel as I feel, and if you would seek as I seek. Go ahead and drop that fire headphones emoji in the comments. I look forward to engaging with you there. But until the next time, y'all already know the drill. Go ahead and clock out for me. <laughs>